Hey guys, I have an amazing deck profile for you guys. You're gonna love this. It's one of my favorite decks in the meta right now, Charizard EX. Guys, I'm gonna go through the decisions and uh, all the choices that we make in this deck. Why we put Charmeleon at one, why don't we have two Charmeleon? Why are we running level balls over nest balls? We're gonna talk about all of that in this deck profile, so stay tuned guys. We're also gonna show you some gameplay, so stay tuned till the end if you wanna learn how to play the game and the deck. But yeah guys, the deck is absolutely amazing. It's winning regionals. We now know the decisions that these guys made in picking their cards. So let's go ahead and discuss. Make sure you guys subscribe, help us grow this channel, and we'll bring you a lot of value, guys. I promise you that. Let's jump right into the deck profile. All right, guys, here's the Charizard deck profile. I want to show you the deck is amazing. Charizard does so much work, guys. Just bring him, bringing him out early. Turn two can just set you up for amazing success and then being able to get another one out basically guarantees you the game you also want to kind of have a charmeleon on the board or an ability to go into charmeleon there are some decks that are going to try to lock you out of the game charmeleon is a great option to kind of still play the game so let's go through our deck here guys very similar to a first prize uh, winner i think it won uh, i think it was very similar to azul gg's uh, regionals uh, it won a whole regionals the charizard deck but now I know what the decisions and what the choices are in the deck for. So you're running one Charmeleon, you could make it two. It's very hard to find room for it. You're literally gonna have to sacrifice uh, one of your items or a boss. Besides that, there's really no more room to add any more cards. So we wanna play two Charmeleons because there are a lot of decks that can lock you out of uh, playing your EXs and you could still deal with the game. You could still play with those Charmeleons. So really, ideally you wanna have one one but there is no room for us to put 1-1 one, one Charmeleons. So we only have one Charmeleon, the 70 attacker. This can KO anything basic, a Spirit Bomb, Spirit Toms, anything on the field. Mimikyu's uh, can be KO'd with this. And so that's how you deal with it. You're going to go ahead and just attack into the Mimikyu and get rid of it. So that's really what the Charmeleons are there for. Uh, you are going to try to Evo into Charmeleon because what's going to happen is you're going to Evo Charizard EX and then you're going to set up for a Charmeleon Evo. You do not want to Evo twice with Rare Candy, ever, not into Charizard EX. You can Evo Charizard EX Pidgeot with Rare Candy, but you never want to Evo two Charizard EXs with Rare Candy. It's going to hurt you. The opponent is going to be able to TMD Evo you and it's going to really be a struggle. Instead, being having that Charmeleon on the board is just going to keep you head because anytime you want you can become a charizard ex so uh charmeleon is a must guys honestly i want to figure out a way to put two but i can't right now we have mew here absolutely amazing you need this card early game guys this is how you're gonna get your battle vip passes and uh, so you really want to use this asap we're gonna be hurting when we lose this because this really gives us a lot of consistency the early game when you're not uh, when you only have an arvin in hand Maybe picking up a, nest, a level ball or an ultra ball or a battle VIP is an amazing option. Also can help you find your rare candies late game. Amazing. You really, really need this and it sucks that we're going to lose this. Uh, Jirachi, this is for the Sableyes. That's it. Nothing else. I've not dealt with anything that deals with this. Uh, that uh, Jirachi shuts down such Sableye. So what you want to do is you want to put Jirachi down when you're against Sableye. Like Lost Box, One Prize, Dex, you're going to play Jirachi. Rotom, you want to push him out ASAP, you pull him out with the battle VIP, you play Arvin, you put the Force Seal Stone on him and you keep the Force Seal Stone on him, you don't want to use anything else, uh, you don't want to use the Force Seal Stone until you're guaranteed to Evo twice, <clears throat> uh, into the Pidgeot and the Charizard DX, so Rotom is very, very helpful guys, being able to play, play, play him off early, we never ever attack turn 1, so this is a good option to have turn 1. And so, and you can also put your four seal stone on it, so it's it's not gonna hurt you guys. I know. And then later on, you can collapse stadium him out. Luminion. Sometimes we're gonna we get stuck in the game. This is our way out. He pulls out an Arvin, pulls out a uh, Ioto, pulls out anything we need. You can also put the four seal stone on him. Absolutely amazing. Luminion is gonna be very helpful. Honestly, if you wanna just get rid of Rotom, just play two Luminion. You should be fine. Here's the Charmander, another Charmander. You don't want to just run all the same Charmander. The, the, what happens is, for example, let's say you're against Roaring Moon. This Charmander KOs Roaring Moons. After they KO your, your Charizard, you just walk in and KO Roaring Moon. And now he's forced to deal with the Charmander. Or he has to boss in uh, one of your Luminions. 
And uh, he doesn't really want to do that because he want, he needs Seda. Unless he's set up, he's going to need Seda that turn. So Charmander is amazing. You want to have a couple of these attackers. Pidgeot, obviously, is it, uh, you're just going to keep finding cards. You keep finding your bosses whenever you need them after your Evo. Towards, once you have two Charizards on the board or one, one and, a, not, and a Charmeleon. And then Manaphy here is really good for Radiant Greninjas. If you see any Radiant Greninja, you immediately play him down and uh, shut him down. There's a lot of decks that can hurt you too, so Manaphy is going to be an option you need to have. Guys, we only run seven energies, and so you got to be very smart with your energy. Eight energy is ideal. In my opinion, eight energy is ideal, but you want to be smart with your ener energy. And so this is the deck right here. Four Sealstone at one, Level Ball at two. I don't think you need Nest Ball, not yet. And when uh, maybe when level ball gets kicked out, we can bring nest ball. But it's so nice to be able to pull out the Charmeleon. Here's your rare candy at four, of course. Counter catcher. If you know how to play this counter catcher, I would take it down up to two, maybe by reducing a Clara. But let me talk about the Clara a little bit. You're never going to see this Clara in any other deck, any other Charizard. But I got to a position where sometimes I don't want to Arvin. Like I have the rare candy in hand, and I have the Pidgeot. Or, or what's going to happen is I, I a lot of my cards are in the graveyard, in the trash. And uh, <clears throat> I have a rare candy in hand. I just need the two Pokemons. Like if I can get a Pidgeot EX with the rare candy and a Charizard EX, I could Evo both of them in one turn. Uh, but I usually... Arvin can never find me two Pokemon. Whereas Clara can find you two Pokemon. As long as they're in the trash, you can get a Pidgeot EX, a Charizard EX, and as long as you have a rare candy in hand, you can evil both of them pretty consistently. So that's why I like this. Also can save you some of the energy late game. It's it's a struggle, guys. We only run one Super Rod, so this can get you the energy you need to maybe do a switch out. Or just to actually get an attack through with a Charmander. So it's it's honestly, in my opinion, it's very useful. Uh, it's very very rare that you need to use it, but there's all there's a need for it. I think, in my opinion, Iono is uh, very situational, and Arvin sometimes, uh, once your four seal stones on the board and it's used, really uh, rare candies and ultra balls, all he does. So that's why the Clara is there, guys. With one rare candy and a Pidgeot EX and a Charizard EX, you can really make a whole field again. And uh, there we go. Arvin at four, of course. TM Devo, uh, it's nice against uh, mirror matches. Sometimes the opponent is not ready. Here we go. Lost City at two. I was running this Lost City at one and Artisan at one, but F that, man. I don't want to mess around with Artisan. We're pretty consistent with the Mew. We can get really consistent battle VIP passes and a full board turn one. So now we just need to knock out. This is against Gardevoir. It's very good. Lost City against Radiant Charizard. This is very good. You get rid of that Radiant Charizard. Only one Super Rod. Two Lost Vacuum. Very necessary, guys. You can get rid of Force Seal Stone. Get rid of any Path to the Peaks. You can find this with Arvin as well. So it's very, very effective. Collapse Stadium. Kicks out your Rotoms. <clears throat> He's, here's Boss. For three. I know it's a lot, but you need three. Once you're set up, you just kind of knock anything out on the board. Ultra Ball at four. Vitality. Only one Vitality. What happens is... Um, your first attack can knock out a Rotom. Uh, your second attack can knock out... Uh, if, if the opponent gets one prize, you can knock out uh, a Gratina. And... Uh, what happens is this the extra 10 actually adds up uh, amazingly. Because uh, in, in th when they get to 3 prizes, you cannot knock out a uh, V-Star. Whereas with Vitality, because it's only 270, but with the Vitality Band, you can actually knock out a V-Star 280. That's what I'm telling you guys. Uh, it's, it makes everything a magic number. A vitality Band is necessary. And uh, Justified Gloves, of course, necessary in the mirror match. But yeah, guys, that's the deck. Let's watch some gameplay and learn how to play the game. And yeah, I'm interested in your opinions. All right, guys, we got another game here on the books. We do have the Battle, Battle VIP Pass. This is huge. Damn, what do I want to put in here? The Manaphy? That sucks. But this is awesome. We can get two, Arv two Battle VIP passes here. Also, we don't need to. We just get two Charmanders. No, no, we do need to get a freaking... Um... Oh, man, we need a lot of things. We need to, we need to find a way for Mew to come into this. We need to draw into an energy.
Okay, Battle VIP will get me Charmander. I don't think we can get Mew on this board. We'll get two Charmanders. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure what deck is this. I'm going against. We're gonna get PG and Rotom. And then I'm gonna get a rare candy and a four seal stone, right? Yep. I think that's it. We draw three. <laughs> we don't have. I mean, we got. I mean, honestly, that was a pretty good setup. We just wanted Mew. Mew was the only thing. We drew into an energy now, but we literally had no way to get Mew onto the board, onto the active. There's an Artisan. This only helps me. It's an interesting Entei build. It's gonna probably rely on flip for each coin for each energy attached to this. Oh my god. Wow. There's the R of in play. <clears throat> what is he gonna pick up? Probably a rare candy. Yep. We need to get rid of that Charmander. You know what's so crazy? Even if he KOs this Manaphy, I cannot KO this uh, Entei. That sucks for me. I can't get rid of this Entei, even with the Vitality Band. So he did Arvin, so we're not worried now. We have a full board, basically. Burning Rodeo. Radio. That's where Mew would have been good. I need to bring the Charmander in. Now I'm drawing in all my Pokemons. Now I'm drawing in all my freaking energies. How many energies do I have? Two. With this guy, we'll pick up. Another rare candy. We also need a Charmeleon here. Oh, no Charmeleons. Oh my god. Okay, we'll just give him two energies. And then we are going to bring out the Charmander, to be honest. Could uh, Professors. Not much we want here. Maybe I should run a choice belt for Entei. Holy moly. Can't even KO it. Okay, there's the Charmeleon. Good, 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 good. Can't even KO it. We do have a V Star. Just in case he does path to the peak me. All right, baby. Man, this Entei, man. Oh, my God, man. I need a choice build just for him. Literally, he's the only guy in the whole meta I cannot deal with. At, at one prize. Everything else in the whole meta I can deal with at one prize. Except this. Except this and Roaring Moon. But Roaring Moon, I'm going to have a way to deal with it. They're going to give us a belt. 
But I, man, this one needs a choice belt, man. But only for Entei. Literally nothing else is at 230. That's a V. It's only Entei. I'll look into it, man. So I think we're we're behind a little bit now. Because he gets the first attack on us. You know what we need? We need the Iono here. Iono is perfect. He has no way to bring out a rare candy and a Charizard EX. Yeah, Iono here is perfect. We're going to Iono him here. He's going to put another Charmander. It doesn't matter when you get Ionoed. He cannot retreat, Entei. Just hits. 160, 320, so it doesn't KO me. I'm just going to get uh, Iono. Cannot KO this. That sucks for me. I should Is this empty actually gonna deal with me? What I'm going to do next turn, I'm going to just Charmander and KO this guy. Maybe no Clara. Maybe another Iono would be better. Maybe no Clara. Clara is so useless. Like, so situational. Like, I'd have a, I need a Pidgeot and a Charmander. And a Char Charmeleon or Charizard. Clara, what can Clara get me here? Nothing. Artisan, going to get some activated. Yep, he, he is going to one-shot me. Sucks for me. So what I'm gonna need is a Charmeleon, <coughs> is a Charmander, is a Charizard. And a Super Rod. Three energy still, that's not bad. We'll look for a super hard later. Alright, so we also need one Charizard. Charmander, sorry. Watch how I'm gonna KO this. Watch. With a heat tackle. Watch this, guys. It's absolutely impressive. Watch this. We're going to heat tackle him in. One, two. Next turn, we can. There it is, it's KO. So even if he moves here, he needs a ch not even only Charizard, he needs a boss too. To push me out. He needs a boss to push me out. I 
What is Mysterious gonna get him? Mysterious still can't save him. Ultra Ball. Oh, there it is. Charizard's coming. Okay, so if he has Boss. Does he have Boss? Do I have Justified? I think I have Justified Gloves, right? I should be able to KO him. If he brings this guy in, KOs me, I KO him, right? One shot. With the Justified Gloves. Okay, if he brings this guy in... Oh, he's just gonna heat tackle me. Okay, interesting game, man. Not gonna lie, it's been it's been uh... okay. There's the justify gloves. Radiant Charizard cannot KO me, but gets really close. I'm gonna need the uh, Arvin to get me level ball. And sure, vitality. We'll get one last Charmander in. Quick search, Lost City. Or collapsed. He cannot one shot me. I don't think he can one-shot me. Even if he Radiant, he's going to have to have uh, Charizard here. Ooh, TMD was going to be good here, actually. Even if he Radiant right now, at 250, doesn't really hurt me that much. I'm gonna get Super Rod now. Oh, so he's gonna Evo. If he Evos, he loses game. He shouldn't Evo this turn. I think he loses game here. I think he's gonna Evo and he's gonna lose him the game. He cannot KO me with Radiant, but I can KO his Charizard. I just need a boss. And I KO his Charizard. Tough, tough game. But he, sh he shouldn't have Evo. He should have kept the Radiant right now. Give me no way to KO him except to kill the Radiant. But what I would have done was I would have moved the Charizard DX back. And then KO the Radiant. Then he would have had to be forced to find a boss. That's the only way he can KO me. That's a good game, guys. See, this is what Justify Gloves does. It literally wins you games. One last boss, all I need. Three thirty exactly. See, Justify Gloves literally gets you perfectly ready to KO at two K. To, other than that, it would have been one prize. Uh, I could have only done 330 at one prize, but because it's Justify Gloves, it's amazing in the mirror match. 
The Entei hurts, man. You kind of want to play Choice Ball just for that Entei. All right, guys. So we are going to go second here. <clears throat> you want to go second in these games. What happens is we're able to play Arvin out. Okay, we got a Mew. This is amazing. First start. Mew with Rotom. We can get a Charmander. We can also... Let's see what Mew finds. Well, first we're going to do a search. We're not going to actually rely on Mew immediately. We're going to search out the Charmander. And then see if Mew can give me a Battle VIP pass. Because we need a Pidgey Charmander still. We want to put two Charmander on the board and one Pidgey this turn. And also depends on what he wants, what he's playing. If we figure out what he's playing... We can maybe... Okay, there it is. Lost Tina. This is a really bad matchup for us, actually. I think it's one of our tough, toughest matchups. Okay, he only puts a Tina down. No flower selecting, nothing. That's crazy. So we, we can get Manaphy out. Okay, we'll start with the level ball because I want to move this deck a little bit. See what cards we have. Charmeleon is there. Where's the two, three Charizard EXs? Where's my Pidgeys? One PG. There's the Clara, only two Arvins left. So one Arvin, one Rare Candy, one Ultra, two Ultra Bowl, and a Collapsed Stadium is in our... and a Justified Gloves. That's what's in here, okay. Okay, so nothing we really need. Let's go now, look for Mysterious Tail. Battle VIP, come on, baby. No Rare Candy, I mean, it's not the worst thing. Arvin could get me the Bell VIP I'm looking for. And the four seal stone. Let's pick up one more Charizard and one PG. Put the Rotom down. And then we'll just search here, instant charge. Next turn, we'll look for four seal stone. We'll see what we want to do with that. Three rare candies now. I think that's all the rare candy in the, in the deck. So if he Iono's me, we're screwed. But if he doesn't Iono me, we're pretty amazing because we also have our Ultra Ball. Oh my God. So we have a full setup next turn. We have a full, full field. We have full setup. What I'm going to Evo is I'm going to Evo the Blazing Destruction guy. Unless he, well, even if he does like use a path, we have collapsed. I can get rid of this Rotom as well. Uh, if I play just one more Charmander, we collapsed. There's Flower Selecting. Finally gets his first Flower Selecting off. It's a little bit late. Is that a Colrus? Yeah, he got a Colrus out. So Tina gets hurt by going first because he doesn't get to play the Colrus. He really does rely on the Colrus. I think one way to really counter Tina slowing down is to make him go first. He really does rely on colors because what he does is he tries to... Yeah, there's the path. It's okay. Um, so we'll, with the V-Star, what do we want to find? Because I'm going to knock this out. We could go for an Arvin. What do I want to find with this V-Star? See what Mysterious Tail can find me. Sure, level ball. We'll put a Charmeleon on board. Okay, we need an... Man, I need a V-Star, this guy. Okay, now I can collapse. Get rid of the Rotom. So now he cannot one shot me. And then we're gonna rear candy into the Pidgey. And then we'll use Pidgey to find us. What do we need here? We literally don't need anything. We're just gonna hit him to twice.
Let's use our quick search. We literally don't need anything. This is what happens when you get so set up. We literally don't need even an Arvin or anything. Wait, can I? No, I'm not gonna. I could Iono. Should I Iono? I think I should Iono, just disrupt a little bit. But first I'm gonna try to get my self uh, Charizard DX on board. Actually, I probably shouldn't Iono because I have the Lost Vacuum. One, two, three. I'll just Iono. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh, man. Arvin can get us another... Okay, we're, we're safe because Arvin can get us what we need. So one thing about Clara here, she's not going to be helpful if this is what we're discarding. I mean, we need to start discarding Pidgeots. The problem with Clara is, is it's so situational. We're going to attach actually a Vitality Band on the guy. On this guy, because now he can one-shot anything. Once once the this Charizard dies, he can one-shot anything. I think that's a pretty amazing setup, guys. It's your ideal setup. One PG, one Charmander into a Charmeleon on the board, and the Mew on the side. <clears throat> He's gonna lose this Tina, and I don't think he can actually do anything yet. Color is so amazing. I mean, he's already at seven. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it takes him two choruses to get to seven, and so when he goes first, it, it takes him an extra turn to get to seven. No, this guy didn't even flower selecting at all, so maybe that's why. There's path again, no problem, we can get rid of it. But honestly, I don't want to get rid of it, I just want to boss in that Tina. Flower selecting. So if we don't, we could Arvin to get rid of this and then pick up a, well, we can't boss. That's the problem. Escape rope won't work. Okay, so he got to 10. Honestly, I'm just going to boss this in. And then next turn we can go for an Arvin play. Oh yeah, now this is even... Okay, well now he can one-shot me. Wow. There goes the V-Star. We need a Lost City, this V-Star. Path is huge, bro. If I bring Lost Vacuum. Then he just KOs me. Yeah, let's go ahead and get... Oh, another boss. Nice. We really don't care about path. We already have all our setup. Perfect. Like, next turn we can go to two Charizards if we want to, not just one. So why the hell are we doing anything? We don't want to really do anything. I mean, I could be playing one more Charizard, Charmander, just to extend my gameplay a little bit, because it does take a while to get to become a Charizard. Clara is kind of useless in here, to be honest. Maybe we don't need Clara. It's just never, never useful. I mean, there's never... Gonna be a time where, unless I Professor Research, the Pidgeot, and the Charizard EX, it's almost impossible for me to ever need that Clara. I think that's, 
in theory, clear makes sense. What's up, your boy? Maybe finally a game you'll go for a reason. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking about going to a reason. I was going to go to the Knoxville one, Vic, but uh, I'm, I'm going to be busy. It's, I'm going to be busy this next week. But yeah, I think I th I'm going to take Pokemon seriously for real. I already have the Charizard uh, EX deck built. I'm getting really good at it. All right, so this guy really was slow. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so he does uh, pass this. Uh, yeah. I mean, he just didn't get it set up. All right, game number three, guys. Oh, man, we're going to have to start with the Pidgey, fortunately. I don't see... I mean, we could Arvin if he gives us... Are we going first or second? I actually have no idea. Uh, it looks like it's a Roaring Moon deck. No Battle VIPs yet. Ooh, Luminion to start. That's horrible. Okay, so we are going to find the Arvin with the Luminion. And then do we still want to Rotom? That's my question. I think we still wrote him, yeah. We keep the Ultra Ball for the Pidgey. We need to move the Pidgey back and put Rotom instead. Or Mew, 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 Mew. We can put Mew instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Mew and Charmander. And see what Mew can get me. With the Battle VIP pass. Damn, four energies down already. Well, that's great for him. <clears throat> Full setup already. Into a path. Thank God I have lost city. If I didn't draw lost city, I would have lost game. Okay, Luminion for Arvin. Two no charmeleons, um, two rare candies, four energy. So we have three energy, two energy in here. Let's go for the Arvin Battle VIP forest. No forest, nice. Just just my luck, man. Honestly, we might have to run two forests because this has been happening a lot. Battle VIP, come on. I mean, level ball is not the worst thing in the world. Can get us another Charmander here. He's so lucky I couldn't get a, a Force Seal Stone. I mean, Force Seal Stone is so important for us. Oh, for Shield Stone is so important that I actually think we should figure out a way to put two for Seal Stone. Because we don't ever want to lose that for Seal Stone. Oh no, more pickle my kid me here. Okay, we're going to Evo this Charmander. Okay, so the goal is to get another Charmander. Okay, we need to get another Charmander right now. Now Battle VIP Pass shows up. Let's toss out the Iono. Do I need the Iono? Let me think about it. No, we don't need Iono here. We need Pidgeot. A rare candy. And we're gonna rare candy. This big guy. We'll give one Charmander one energy. I 
I will tackle. All right, let's see if we have him under control. He only has one guy ready to go. We did draw a rare candy, so all we need is a Charizard now. We got another one. Hopefully this doesn't become a Charizard. What I want to do is I want to bring another Charmander first. Then we make it this Charizard. See, that's what I'm talking about. When he shoots me here, yeah, he, he needs a capsule on this one. When he shoots me, oh no, that's bad for him. No Sada. So when he shoots me, I just move this 30 damage. He has to Sada again. That's the only way he can get this popped up again. <clears throat> he should have put this ancient uh, thing onto this. That way he doesn't die to the one shot by the Charmander. Charmander is broken in this matchup. There's a couple of things I need. I need a couple of things. Let's see if Pokestops can find me. Lost Vacuum's not bad. I can get rid of that. We have an Ultra Ball. We can go find... Charmander. Let's go find another Charmander. I have to find Iono actually. Oh no, Ultra Ball. Okay, here I'm going to find Iono. Or professor's research. How many rare candies did I use? Two? Yeah, no, I don't want a professor's here. We're just gonna Iono. Okay, we got another rare candy, amazing. We have counter catchers too. This is the final energy we have. Super Rod's what this needs to find me next. Do I counter catcher? No, hell no. Woohoo! <laughs> Huge! Oh, that's huge. He can't even KO the Charmander. He has to boss. But I Ionoed him, so he needs to find boss. I don't know if he can find boss. He needs... Pokestop doesn't find him boss. An Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball can find him a Luminion. Luminion can find him a boss. Could also for, go for another Roaring Moon. He needs two Roaring Moons set up. That's difficult. Wait, what? He just threw that. So Radiant Greninja. Can he get a shot out? No, he can't. He can't. All his dark patches are in the thing. No, no, wait. He actually can. He only has one dark patch. Okay. It's not good enough. Okay, restart can help. Did he get it? No more Roaring Moons, I don't think. Yeah, no more Roaring Moons. Uh, if I lost City, this one is pretty much over. Switch card tossed out. Really? Okay, he's going to give one energy here. Can't KO this. It's 290. 290 is perfect number. 280 I can KO. Oh, he's going to KO this.
Oh no. Wow, that was really not bad. I need a loss vacuum. That's the only thing that can save me here. Oh my god, we drew it! Holy moly, we drew it. Oh my god, we drew into it. Ah, man, I didn't have a Charizard though, so we might lose here. He doesn't have any energies. There's the four seal stone. That's what really. Pushed us a little bit behind. I mean, I guess I could have found another Charizard. I could have become another Charizard, but it's so scary going two Charizards against this Roaring Moon. He should be done here. He shouldn't be able to get any more attacks in. Mullet Shuriken is too expensive. 12 cards in the whole deck. An energy in a lost vacuum is just not enough. There's no energies to switch. He could Dark Patch and switch something. There's the Pokestop. He wants to restart. That's what he's doing. Can he do it? He has a Dark Patch and an energy switch is not enough because he cannot move him energies. Oh, that's game. Oh man, I drew into an Ultra Ball. Holy moly, that's insane. I'm not gonna lie, my draws are insane. My draws are insane. <laughs> the top deck was crazy. GG boys, amazing game.